Okay, we are going to Kew Gardens. Isn't that right, everybody? Uh-huh. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Underestimated the rain. It's actually raining and we didn't think that it would be raining. So I'm gonna have frizzy hair, but we do have an umbrella. <laughs> and uh, we're looking forward to going. So let's go into Kew Gardens. Kew Gardens. Yeah, this is your first time, right? It is, yeah. Really I've like actually it. been, and you haven't been. I haven't been. I think you went, what, 10 years ago? I went 10 years, years ago. ago. That's right. I'm yeah. so excited. So this is the Palm House, and um, I just love it. It's so, what, Victorian, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, we need to find the kids. <laughs> house right now and we're in the Africa section. So cool. Look at these roots behind me. We're just walking into the temperate house and I see some orchids here and camellias that are just beautiful. friend Alina in the Cotswolds today.
you saw my video where I interviewed her about her book, English Etiquette, which is amazing, by the way. Thank you. I'm in the Cotswolds with Alina. Hey, Can you believe we it? We finally met in real life. We've yes. been friends online now for quite some time. I know. Anyway. So it's nice to finally meet in real life. She actually exists. I exist. And she's, she's just as beautiful in real life. Oh, and so is she. <laughs> and so um, what town are we in right now? So we are in Borton on the Water, which is a Cotswolds must-do. So they've got this very low, so they call it the Venice of the Cotswolds. Mm. It's got a very low kind of river. It's only about a foot deep. And um, in summertime, they play football in it. Really? Yeah. Well, my daughter just tried getting in and <laughs> she I got did. extremely cross. I think it was about an inch shy at the top of her wedding boots. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just had a lovely lunch as well at a cafe. So lots of food consumed mm -hmm. and tea. And, my, and our husbands yeah. are Ben and her husband, Carl, are yep. hitting it off and they're wearing the same jacket. They are. They're like twins. And it's a bit funny, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so we do have to have a shot of that. But. We do. We'll get, we'll get them. Yeah. And so, this is just so beautiful. I love all of these old buildings. I mean, look, see, you don't get that in America. Do you? I mean, is that a house? Yeah, some of these are privately owned. There's a lot of that have been converted into kind of tea rooms and restaurants and things, but there are some that are privately owned. Yeah. So, I imagine it's quite pricey. Yes. I wouldn't want to live with all these tourists in my backyard. No, that would bother they me. do actually have, um, there's Bybury down the road, which is um, kind of inspired Middle Earth for Tolkien, oh. the Lord of the Rings. And they have all on their gates, they have kind of signs in various languages saying, do not trespass, don't come and take oh, pictures yeah. in my front lawn. And oh, I bet. I bet people, that's yeah, annoying. they just kind of, it's very poor tourist etiquette. Yes. So what, what's um, some Cotswolds etiquette? that you can share with her. What's something unique to the Cotswolds? I'm oh, putting her on the spot here. Yeah, you really are. What? You really yeah. are. I think, well, do you know what? I think you can see it going on. If you pan up, up. can you see? Oh, or no, oh. just the amount of people trying to get, we've waited, yeah. I think, oh. five minutes? At a bridge. Get, at a bridge that. to get a perfect shot. Yeah. So I think it's just be mindful of other people around you wanting to enjoy the space with yeah. you as well, you know, because yeah. some people can kind of commandeer certain spots to mm -hmm. you know enjoy the view yeah you know there's lots of picturesque places so I think yeah just be mindful of that mm. you know get your shot and move on <laughs> and obviously yeah don't kind of take photos in front of people's houses if they yes you know if they can see that mm -hmm. or you can see that they're annoyed but. now is there anything distinct to the Cotswolds like clothing or <gasps> mannerisms or a food or something that is uniquely Cotswolds. What do we uniquely need to know Cotswolds. about this? Um, I would say in terms of our style, because you just did a video, didn't you? Your observations yes. on British style. Yeah. I would say around here, there's a lot of kind of muddy, welly pubs. Mm -hmm. Lots of spaniels and things like that. So I think we're a bit more laid back yeah. around here in terms of style. So we think nothing of going to the pub in our welly boots, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. and dress up warm. Right. It is very cold. Yeah. Though. I, I know you're all sick of seeing me in this, this scarf. I wear it every single day. Actually, I should be wearing, Alina gave me a scarf. I'm gonna put uh. her scarf on. She gave me those amazing scarf. I need to take this one. You're tired of saying, I'm gonna put it on. Yeah. You talk to them while I do that. Oh, okay. Well, this, again, I'm on the spot. I don't know what, I'm pushing a buggy as well to see. I know, the baby's down here The too. baby's down here. Jennifer's getting undressed in the street. <laughs> about bad etiquette. I know, yeah. Okay, well, we're gonna pause Let's, it. Yeah, we'll come back. pull in. <laughs> okay, so look at this gorgeous scarf that she got me. Thank you so much. So you can remember us. I know. And, um, yeah, so I love the Cotswolds. I was telling Ben, if we lived in England, I would want to live here. And as we were driving, I was telling this to Alina, you know, my love of classical music. I. There's a lot of pop music on the radio stations in England. Like it's, I feel like it's, I, I've never found a classical station, but as we got to the Cotswolds, we found a classical station. So we were listening to Mozart on the way and it's just so classy, I love it here. Anyway, it's just been such a lovely time and I hope we get to come back in the summer. And yeah, it. and if you do move to the Cotswolds, come and be my neighbor. Yes, I would love that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, say goodbye to Alina. Bye everyone. And uh, her book, are English etiquette and ladies like us. So I'll leave those links down below because they're awesome. So, all right, talk to you later. Bye. Bye. We're going to go explore.
Okay, so many of you have asked for a tour of the flat, so I'm just going to show you a few of the rooms now. There is a really lovely garden outside and it's it's so pretty. So like I said, my mother-in-law decorated the whole flat and she has really good taste, you'll see, really unique. So let's have a look at the flat. that tour and now we are going to go to London to see the Lion King. Okay, I'm coming to you from the girls' room and I did not show this in the tour, but there is another room and it's decorated so cute, just Beatrix Potter on the walls and um, you can kind of see the view um, from the window outside there. So The Lion King was amazing. I had seen it about 20 years ago at the Pantages Theater in Hollywood. So I just had remembered the opening scene. I didn't remember that much else from it. So it was like I was seeing it again and it was so, incredible. So Granny pulled out all the stops. We took a nine-seater bus out there uh, with the cousins and um, we were able to see the show and it was so neat and the kids had gift bags afterwards. The whole thing was just really amazing from start to finish and then uh, my mother-in-law was watching the baby so he didn't go with us. But all in all this has been a pretty amazing trip. I mean you're probably exhausted just from watching everything we did. I know I'm tired. <laughs> Um, we did so much on this trip and we were able to see so much and uh, it was really great. So I hope that you enjoyed this English vlog. I know it's a bit different than the type of content I normally do, but it's always fun to see um, what goes on in different cultures and different countries and everything. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me today on The Daily Connoisseur and I will see you soon. Bye.